In this video, we're going to solve some mixing problems in your calculus class. So this problem says, a tank contains 20 kilograms of salt dissolved in 5,000 liters of water. Brine that contains 0.03 kilograms of salt per liter of water enters the tank at a rate of 25 liters per minute. The solution is kept thoroughly mixed and drains from the tank at the same rate. So how much salt will there be in the tank after half an hour? First, we will define y at t as the amount of salt in kilograms after t minutes. And then y prime of t, which is the derivative of this function, is basically the rate at which the salt is added into the tank minus the rate at which the salt is removed. It's also important to draw a diagram so here we have our tank with 20 kilograms of salt in 5,000 liters of water. So this much salt is entering at a rate of 25 liters per minute. It's also leaving at the same rate. So how much salt is leaving the tank? That is the question. Now, remember y at t is the amount of salt after t minutes. So this is the amount of salt that is leaving over 5,000 liters of water. So that's why we have this fraction like this. This is the amount of salt out of 5,000 liters of water. And the last piece of information that we're given is that at the beginning, the tank has 20 kilograms of salt. So y at zero is equal to 20. And after half an hour, the problem wants us to find y at 30. So there are three formulas that you need to know, and that's it. And the first formula is dy over dt is equal to rate in minus rate out. So rate in is equal to concentration in times flow in, and rate out is concentration out times flow out. And don't worry, these formulas are very easy to use. The first step is to find rate in and rate out. So rate in is equal to concentration in, which is 0 0.03 kilograms over liter, times flow in. And flow in is 25 liters per minute. So if you put this in your calculator, you will get 0 0.75. And what is the unit? Well, the unit will be kilograms over minute. Rate out is the same thing. So concentration out, which is this, this guy right here. So y at t over 5,000 times flow out, which is 25 liters per minute. And this will give you y at t over 200. So notice that you can write it as y at t, and we can just write it like this to keep it short, and the unit is also kilograms over minute. The second step is to find dy over dt, and that is fairly simple. So dy over dt is equal to rate in, which is 0 0.75, and you don't need to write the units this time, minus rate out, which is y over 200. The third step is to solve this equation. So first of all, 0 0.75 is the same as 150 over 200. We have dy over dt, and that is equal to 150 minus y over 200. Now, we want to bring all the y's to one side, so we want to bring this guy here over to this side. So here we have 1 over 150 minus y, dy over dt. And on the right-hand side, we have 1 over 200. Now we multiply both sides by dt. 1 over 150 minus y, dy is equal to 1 over 200 dt. And once you have all the variables to each side, we're going to integrate both sides. Now let's solve for this one first. So the integral of 1 over 150 minus y dy. So let u equal to 150 minus y. So du over dy is equal to negative 1. So du is equal to negative dy. And dy is, of course, equal to negative du. So this integral here is equal to the integral of 1 over u. And dy is negative du. So we have negative 1 over u du, which is equal to negative ln of absolute value of u plus c. 
And since u is 150 minus y, we have negative ln of 150 minus y plus d. And let's go ahead and put this into this spot right here. Let's do the right hand side. So the integral of 1 over 200 dt, we can bring out the constant. So we have 1 over 200, the integral of 1 dt. And this right here will be equal to 1 over 200 times t plus c. We integrated both sides of the equation, and now we're on to step four, which is solving c. So since, since y at zero is equal to 20, this is a given from here, then t is equal to zero, y is equal to 20. So let's substitute that. So ln 150 minus 20 is equal to zero over 200, which is zero plus c. And so c is simply negative ln of 130. We multiply both sides by negative 1. So we have ln 150 minus y is equal to negative p over 200 plus ln 130. And let me show you how to get rid of this ln over here. All you have to do is put e to the power of both sides. So e to the power of ln 150 minus y is equal to e to the power of negative t over 200 plus ln of 130. e to the ln of absolute value of 150 minus y is just the absolute value of 150 minus y. And over here, if you remember, e to the power of a plus b is equal to e to the power of a times e to the power of b. So from that, we have e to the power of negative t over 200 times e to the power of ln 100 and if you look at this this is just equal to 130. the way to get rid of the absolute value over here is if the right side is always positive meaning it never goes below the x-axis and if you graph this this is just an exponential function that's gonna look something like this right so it never goes below the x-axis therefore we can get rid of the absolute value Another thing to note is that this function is continuous, so it has to be continuous, and the initial value has to be a positive number in order for us to get rid of the absolute value. Now, let's go ahead and solve for y. So we minus both sides by 150, we get negative y is equal to 130 times e to the power of negative t over 200 minus 150. So multiplying both sides by negative 1, we get positive y is equal to 150 minus 130 times e to the power of negative t over 2. And we're almost done. So here is our equation. You can write it like this, or you can also write y at t. It means the same thing. And the last step is to find y at 30. So y at 30 is equal to 150 minus 130 times e to the power of negative 30 over 200. And this will be approximately 38 0.1 kilograms of salt.